Hey, this is a supplementary video demonstrating how to clean up the measured grid once you get it on your data frame. So again, just go into layers and the properties and we're going to use the grid tab to add a new grid. Uh, usually you want a measured grid because in this class at least we're trying to demonstrate something about the coordinate system. Uh, the graticule remember is latitude longitude and that's um, nice for um, formal maps or if you're trying to give a certain look to your map but um, for our purposes we're usually trying to be convincing about our process so measured grid it is. Um, I usually keep it pretty simple labels only um, I just double check to make sure I've got the right coordinate system um, for the georeferencing uh, exercise this is the right one um, this is an important step here clean these up make them nice round numbers and make them the same so they're not rectangles uh, that's my preference anyway. Um, I usually, again, just clean it up a little bit. You can leave minor ticks in there if you want, um, you know, and maybe put a 500 tick mark, 500 foot tick mark in there. Um, these guys I usually leave and finish it, um, and then I can apply my grid. Uh, then I usually go back and, and clean it up a little bit. For example, we can see now that we've got nice round numbers, and that's really important. Um, the other thing that you might want to do is get rid of those gray decimal places. And you do that by going into the properties. There's all these great um, options for us. This is where we can verify our units and that we've got nice round numbers. So if you forgot to do that in the first step, you can do that now. Um, just making sure we're pulling the right coordinate system. Um, but in the labels, notice that we've got a mixed font between the two different um, values here. So this is the... Um, the main one, let's see here, if we go into additional properties, uh, mixed font label, we want to, um, this is our secondary font, for this is the decimal places, and we want to format the number and get rid of all of our decimal places. So we're pretty embedded right now. Um, we are, we could have uh, thousand separators too if we wanted to. Um, or you could show positive and negative numbers that way, but we have to, in order to apply this, we have to back all the way out. You can hit apply, but it doesn't actually apply it. You have to back all the way out to that place. I don't know, the, the thousand separators looks pretty cheesy. Um, it does make it a little bit easier to read these numbers, but it looks kind of, I don't know, it's up to you if you want to do something like that. Um, but that's how you get rid of those decimal places and get some nice round numbers on there. So if you have any questions, let me know. I would do this step before I would copy these and just uh, so it's documented here. In the one video I talk about how you can right click copy because it's hard to demonstrate this, but you can also use the control key. So if you're using your black select elements tool and activate this data frame, if you have both of your um, images in here correctly georeferenced, you've set your grid the way you want it, um, you can use the control key. Watch the cursor change as I hit control. When I'm in this mode, it's actually copying. So I'll zoom out and I'm going to hit control. I'm going to hold control down while I click the mouse and drag. And then uh, let go of the mouse first and let control let go of the control key second. Um, I've got a small problem because they don't exactly fit on the page, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I would have wanted to make sure that I set that up exactly first. Um, but now I have two exact copies, and that would be another way to do it, is just use the control key. All right, questions, let me know. Thanks.